Hello, beautiful people. I'm here in White River National Forest in Colorado. So, it's my spiritual boot camp. I had to do another spiritual boot camp because the devil is busy. He attacks us through strangers, even through our family. Of course, we know church members too. But also through our family, which is really sad when that happens, but it happens. And so he wants to steal our joy. He wants us to make, he wants to make us evil. Like the people that attack us are evil. He wants us to lose our temper and just act a fool, all kinds of crazy stuff, you know. When I was coming up here, some people were falling behind me and they started blowing their horn, rushing. It's like, we're in a forest. Like, really, if you're rushing in a forest, <laughs> I guess they need the forest. <laughs> you know, I guess we all do. That's why I'm up here. And so the people was blowing their horn and it made me lose my patience. And I snapped back at them by blowing my horn. And it's like, you know, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like that. I don't want to lose my temper or anything. You know, I don't like using curse words, four-letter words, even if I'm by myself. I want my gentle cry spirit back. I haven't lost 100% of it, but I lost too much of it. And so that's why I'm up here to get my gentle quiet spirit back. I've been praying to God, asking him to please restore my gentle quiet spirit. And I know the steps it take to have a gentle quiet spirit. One of them is being up here. It's being up here in God's creations, God's majestic, mighty, awesome creations. And so it's just so beautiful up here. I'm seeing butterflies up here I haven't seen in a long time. I saw a yellow butterfly, an orange butterfly, a white butterfly. It's like, wow. It's just so beautiful. There's a creek in the distance, a river or creek. I don't know if you could hear the water or not. But it's just so nice. But anyway, I just want to tell you, don't let the devil steal your joy. Don't let him steal your trust in God. You know, when we trust God, that's what leads to a gentle, quiet spirit. Just trust in God. And to trust means to obey. And when we do that, God will restore our gentle and quiet spirit. And sometimes you got to get away like I'm doing right here, you know. I'm not perfect. I wish I was born with a gentle and quiet spirit, but I wasn't. I wasn't, so I have to come to places like this. So I could be by myself, me and the Lord, just me and the Lord, no one else by myself and so I'm here by myself there's a few people camping around me so I'm not totally by myself so but I know God is with me and he blessed me to come up here because I have been asking for a long time for him to uh, bless me in this way and to rekindle my gentle quiet spirit and so he blessed me to come over here I'm just so happy about it and uh, so that's why I just want to tell you, don't let the devil steal your joy. Don't let him, you know, when he attack you, we can't stop Satan from attacking us, number one. We can't. He attacks us, like I said, through everyone. And and so that's so we could be like him because he wanted us to be evil like him, him and his demons, his people that allow him to continually, daily to work you know through them and that's not good and so we don't want to be like that and I don't think any of you are like that and that's why you are following my women's ministry so if you need prayers or anything don't hesitate to let me know you know my website thank you for watching thank you for listening may God our Holy Father in heaven continue to bless you so that you may always be a blessing wherever you go see you later bye bye